Hello everyone. In this new tutorial, we will look into texture painting. We created this model in the previous tutorial, which covered retopology. You can use any other one of your own models as well. We will be using a free add-on Yuku Paint, which allows to paint textures in layers, which is not available by default in Blender. So let's start. Go to Preferences. And here in the Get Extensions menu, search for Yuku Paint. Install the add on. Press N to open the side panel. Here you will be able to see Yuku Paint tab. Select your model. Currently, there is no material applied on the model. To create our first material, Click Quick Yuku Paint Node Setup. A pop up window will open. We will be using only color and roughness for now. You can deselect the other normal channel. Click OK to create the material. The viewport will switch to Material Preview and your model may look white. It is important to note that any object should have some UVs before we can start painting. If there are no UVs, then add-on will show Add Simple UVs button. You can click it. If we go in the UV Editing tab and select all the faces, you can see how the UV layout looks like. However, it is better to create your own UVs. So what we can do is go in the edit edge mode, select one edge loop in the back. Right click and select mark seam. Select everything, press U for the unwrap menu and use unwrap angle based. And this will create a UV map which is much more optimized than the previous one. Coming back to the main viewport. In the material properties, we can set the base color. Use any color as you like to. I will be using a dark blue color. The roughness value I will increase more. To add a layer, click the plus button and you will see a menu with lots of different types of nodes. I will start with the solid color layer. Click OK. This will add a solid color layer. Here you can change the color, layer opacity, visibility, change layer blend modes. To create a mask, click the plus button next to it. Select New Image Mask. I will leave the default settings as they are. Just change the color property to black and click OK. A mask has been added. It can be disabled from here if needed. Since we use the black color setting while creating the mask, all of the fill color of the layer is hidden. Press Ctrl tab, go in texture paint mode. You can see the different brushes available here. I will select the paint soft one. It is important to note that the two colors should be set to white and black whenever painting masks. You can use X to swap colors and control to select the other color during painting. Shift will smooth blend the colors. Whenever we are painting with the white color, the mask will reveal the color of that layer and black will hide. You can change the fill color of the layer. I will set it to light blue. We can turn off the eye object so we can see the inside area. 
If the viewport shading is not clear, you can change the viewport background HDR image so the colors are easily visible. Painting with the black color will hide the mask. Let's add another layer, but this time select the new image layer. This is different from the fill type layer. In this layer, we can paint any different colors. Rename the layer and click OK. A new layer has been added in the layers panel. You can now start painting with any color. You can also save the colors in the color palette if you want to reuse them later. Since we have the mirror modifier on the object, both sides are getting updated. Otherwise, you can turn on X symmetry. You can change the brush size with F key, X to swap colors. Try using some other colors and see how it works. All this painting data is being saved on this layer. If you want to remove something, then there is a eraser button. Better to add it to your quick favorites or assign a shortcut. Make sure to disable the eraser when you don't need it anymore. You can use the shift key to smooth blend the colors. I will paint inside the mouth area with black color. Again, this totally depends on what type of model you are working with. You can also add a mask on this layer. In case you want to fill selected faces with one color, in edit mode, you can select the faces first. Next, switch to Texture Paint mode and enable Paint Mask option. A light overlay mask will be visible over the unselected faces. Now you can use the Fill tool or brush to paint on those faces only. If the edges are looking a bit rough, you can use the Blur or Smear brush to make them smooth. You can also enable the paint mask option in the paint mode and using the selection tools, you can continue making selections for painting on those parts only. Control key to remove or add to selection. You can also change the opacity of any layers. Blending options are also available. I will slightly speed up this part of the video as most of the steps are same as before. We will paint with different colors and see how we can improve the look of our model. In the Layers panel, you will see a Preview Board button. If you click it, it will isolate the contents of the selected layer only. It is quite useful to identify which layer contains what painting data. In the Channels section, we have another Preview Mode, enabling it will disable any lighting in the viewport, giving us a flat color look which is helpful in painting colors without any lighting affecting the model. To select any color from the color wheel, press E over it and you can pick any color. You can save that color in the color palette as well. This is the basic overall working of Yuku Paint. 
make sure to remove any unnecessary layers that are not needed as that can have an effect on the performance. Let's add colors to the eye object. The process will be same as before. I will create a separate material. Change the base color to something dark orange. Reduce the roughness value making it a more reflective. Add a solid color layer with yellow. And add a mask and using white color to paint over to reveal the fill color. If I zoom in over the object, there is some texture stretching happening. In such a case, the first thing you should do is check the UV map of the object. Here you can see our UV map is quite messy. So it's always better to recreate UVs. I will select the middle edge, mark the seam and unwrap it. This should give us a much more clean UV layout. Now if we paint again, we don't have any distortion or stretching. From here you can continue building and refining the model textures. You can make any sort of design, try different types of brushes to see how they affect. If I rotate the eye object, both the eyes will rotate due to mirror modifier. I will fill up some area around the eyes as well with black color. Again, this is totally up to you how you want to paint. You can also press Shift S to enable stabilize stroke which makes it easier to control brush strokes. Coming to the nose part, we will create one new material. Add the UVs for it. I will change the color to slightly pink. Add a image layer. But this time in the channel, I am changing it to normal instead of color. This will allow us to paint normal maps. Using a white or black color, paint a stroke. Normal map gives the illusion of like something is sculpted or modeled, but it is just another type of texture. You can reduce the strength, blend the layer, use the eraser to remove any detail, shift smooth to smoothen the result. Normal map techniques are very useful for adding surface level details without any modeling or sculpting. Let's quickly look into some more features. We can add a layer group which can be used to organize and group layers. Click the up and down buttons to move something in or outside the group. We can add procedural layers also. For example, let's add a wave texture. There are settings to change the parameters and use different blend modes to mix with other main colors. You can also merge, duplicate or resize layers. One important feature is the baking option. In case you want to export your model textures into a game engine like Unity, Godot or Unreal, then you can bake textures that you have painted. For that, click the settings button and you will find bake channels. I will use the default settings Click OK. Once baking is completed, click here to save. Go to the folder where you want the textures to be saved and here is the result which was baked. I painted this model quickly but you should always take your time texturing your models nicely. 
You can delete the baking result or you can click the bake button if you want to make any changes and rebake them again. To add decals to your model, go to open image option, select the image, it will wrap around all over the model. In the vector property, instead of UV, select decal. The decal will be placed at the bottom. In the vector settings, click select decal object. Before moving it, rotate the decal object until you see the white arrow pointing outwards. Now you can position it, rotate it or scale it. To make things easier, turn on snapping with face setting and enable align rotation to target. By the way, you can also set the vector type to decal during the open image window. To add a normal layer, check you have added the normal channel in your channels. And in the new image layer, select the normal channel. Now we can use any procedural nodes. Let's try the noise node. You can change the different parameters as well. In this way, you can add surface level normal details all over the model. Keep in mind that too many complex layers may affect performance, so remove any unused layers. From here, you can continue exploring this add-on. There are many more advanced features available. I recommend checking the documentation of this. Link is in the description. I also have another old tutorial for Yuku Paint, which cover more things if you like to check that. And this completes the three-part tutorial series. In part one, we covered sculpting. In part two, it was about retopology. And in part three, we looked at texture painting. I tried to keep the process simple and there could be some steps I might have skipped. There are always many different ways to make things in 3D and it is not possible to cover every aspect in one or two videos. You can use any technique which you think works best. This project file is available for free download from my Gumroad page. If you like to see more in the future, then please give this video a like, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on notification bell. Thank you very much for watching.